Yo, what's up guys? AFC Udino here and welcome to this new video. We're gonna be playing this Chandelure Galate team. You guys have been enjoying this team quite a bit, so I'm just gonna keep going with it. And yeah, hopefully we don't run into many too too many annoying <laughs> matchups. But uh, yeah, other than that, pretty pretty decent team, pretty balanced overall. But uh, yeah, it obviously has its flaws like every team. And if you are interested in this team, you can check it out on Patreon. I have a book based right there. Check out the Patreon link in the description. Start Raptor. Okay, okay, okay. This guy uh, bringing Weavile offense. So his only ice resist is going to be Scizor. That would be really nice if we can pressure his Scizor like that. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Let's uh, start it off with the Gastrodon. He leads up with this, so I'm gonna ice beam this immediately. And if I then get up rocks into him, that's gonna be really helpful. So it's looking like a suicide style rock lead. But if I can, like I said, if I get the ice beam on this, he's, he, he gets in range of Zapdos and stuff. He earthquakes me. Why? Oh, that sucks. That sucks a lot, man. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I am so sorry, man. I am so freaking sorry. I'm like legit, legit. That sucks, man. That really sucks. Oh my God. I'm so freaking sorry, man. Because that's his, that's his ground type as well. I just wanted to have the ice beam damage on him, but that's insane. I don't know if, he gonna, if he's going to spore me immediately, but... He is, okay. I'm gonna bring in my Zapdos on whatever he wants to switch into. If it's Spore, he doesn't touch me. Is this Swords Dance? Is this Swords Dance? Well, I might have lost there. Maybe he thinks I'm scarfed. <laughs> oh, he thinks I'm scarfed! <laughs> oh, God. And I get this damage off. That's beautiful. I'm gonna go into my Gallade immediately. I can still give him the illusion that I'm scarfed. So we are just going for Sacred Sword. Even if Dragonite comes in, I think that's fine. He has to be banned to knock me out with extreme speed anyway. Hmm, actually knock him out there. How do we go about this? I cannot switch this in anyway, so first we're gonna call. Let's um let's first make sure that extreme speed doesn't kill me. If he like he that he has to be banded to knock me out. I'm at 63, so he has to be banded to knock me out. So we're just gonna attack him here, and he doesn't even extreme speed, so I get off my ice punch. That's be, that's really good. Weva comes back in on rocks. I am really tempted to just Sacred Sword here. Considering I have a Zapdos as well. Because now, what is his ice resist, right? What is his ice resist? I also get to see what he brings in. So 
Oh, we're just gonna go Weavile. And I'm just clicking Ice Shard. That should be enough to knock this out. I can Ice Shard into the Weavile as well. Just to get some chip. Like, my gas run should be healthy enough to take anything from the Weavile. Is it 82? I'm not sure. Is my Weavile able to live any attack from Bloom? I, I mean, is my is is he able to live my ice shard? Plus one. Eighty five is the minimum. He's at eighty eight. What odds do I have to knock him out there with ice shard? Like a ninety three percent chance to knock him out there. Well, I'm going I'm going chandelier anyway on the next turn, so I'm. I'm gonna keep my Zapdos. If he wants to click Rock Tomb on me, that's fine. Because my Zapdos is gonna lose to Weavile anyway. He's Life Warped, okay? That's all we need to know, man. That's all we need to know, because now I can go Weavile and click Ice Shard. And win the game. Because it was a roll. Ice Shard was a roll there. But yeah, his Scissor is basically gonna die to me. And with me ice sharding, his Weavile cannot set up. His Weavile cannot set up, meaning that I can use my Gastrodon. Maybe he doesn't have Brick Break or something. Yeah, what do you what do you run on Sword Stance? Sword Stance, Night Slash, Icicle Spear, Ice Shard, is that his set? But like I said, the bur uh the freeze was really annoying because he wasn't able to get up rocks. That made such a big especially on a team like that, when you when Guard Jump is your dedicated suicide lead, right? It's your dedicated suicide. He's meant to get up rocks. I also don't understand why he Try to earthquake me first. He should have just gone for rocks first. He should have just gone for rocks first. Interesting that he was live for Brock Tomb on that Berloom though. That's that was really interesting. Most of the time, most of the times they are like uh, focus sash on, with Rock Tomb, but you rarely see live for Brock Tomb. Yeah, he could have won the game <laughs> had he attacked my chandelier, but obviously he didn't know if my chandelier was scarfed. He didn't know. Because if he if he known my chandelier wasn't scarfed, he, he would have won the game right there. I didn't even re realize Sword Stands Weavile on that team. But if I were to face him again, he still doesn't know if I have... Oh no, <laughs> Scrafty. But I have a Galate. I have a Galate, so we shouldn't have to worry too much about that. Um, SP and though... Well, no. Well, his ground type is Gliscor. Can my Chandelier win this game? I think it is a good shot. It's a pretty good shot against him. But I, yeah, it's going to be tough getting up rocks against him. Let's uh, start it up with Zap. Because it's good to know if he has, uh, has a choice scarf on his Rotom. But Scrafty is always one of those scary Pokemon to face for me. <laughs> Luckily, we do have a Galate this time. The Sacred Sword ig ignores Bulk Up. That would just be able to get off my Volt Switch. If my Zapdos was actually 3 attacks against him, he could have soloed his team. That's a big Volt Switch. I'm still going Gastrodon. Maybe he can still trick on me. Um, hidden Power something, okay. I'm just going to click Scald here at this point. 
Just in case it goes Espion. I don't want to rocks into Espion here. Oh, it actually goes Magnezone. Why? Why is this his answer? I don't understand it. Why is this his answer? Fine. Oh, what? What is he doing? Maybe we skip this battle, guys. I don't know. Maybe we'll just skip this battle. I'm gonna Scald here. I, I, I don't understand this play. Like, sure, you don't have a good switching, but... Magnuson is one of the worst Pokemon you can switch into a gas run, unless you have Hidden Power Grass. But I think that's Hidden Power Ice. But yeah, that's one Ice Resist gone. The next one is Rotom, but Rotom is already weakened. We do see Espion coming in here. I'm not sure what to expect from this. But I should always have Weavile to Revenge Kill. I just don't think I'd do much with this. And Gastrodon can still be nice into Gliscor. But I don't want to go directly into Weavile. I want to keep Gallade for Scrafty. And is Chandelure even sweeping this game? I'll go Zapdos. Maybe it's an offensive uh, SPN. And we're gonna find out right here. Oh, it's Future Side, okay. Future Side Leftovers. I'm gonna go Hard Weevil here. Weevil. Yeah, nice try. See if he has Baton Pass. I don't see Baton Pass. He didn't even protect there. So we get rid of Espion. And the future side attacks my Weavile. Like I said, we have Gallade in the back for Scrafty. But he decides to go Staraptor. I'll go Zapdos first. Because if he locks himself into Double Edge, I think that's a setup opportunity for... Well... It's not a setup opportunity, but... Okay. Goes into Rocky, the Glide score. I don't think I need Weezing for much this game, so I'm actually gonna go directly into Weezing. If this is Sword Stance, I, I will still kill him with Weavile, clicking Icicle Spear. And next time I just go hard Gastrodon so that he cannot do that. I just paint split there. The earthquakes again. He's gonna get extremely low. I don't have anything to hit him with, though. But I do, I do think getting off the toxic spikes, getting off the toxic spikes against this might also be a roll against the Scrafty might help me a lot. Okay, he did 41.9 last time, that's why I thought I might be able to live that. That's why I thought that there might be a chance to live. I'm not sure how much speed he's running because I actually haven't damaged him.
But I think we can go Weavile first. Click Icicle Spear anyway. Getting that damage early on the other guy. One, two, two hits. Of course. <laughs> Of course! Two hits. Now I'm getting three hits. Cool. <laughs> now Scrafty comes in. I think we keep the... He cannot kill me from full, so I'm gonna go hard delay there. Yeah, it's broke up. Okay. Now we're using Sacred Sword here. I wanted to use Crafty as well, but it's just it's so it's so hard, man. Gallade is one of the most used fighting type Pokemon. And now I should win with Ice Shard regardless. So I'm just gonna sex up those. Holy shit. Did that just crit me or is that. Always banded, bro. My guy. Maybe he's adamant. Maybe he was adamant. You never know. Oh, he is close to dying. So we just go gas right on air. We've also I don't need to defog air. I could defog, but I don't know if he can even kill me. Because if he doesn't kill me, he just gets up rocks again, and then I'm removing my own rocks, which can still be nice against the Raptor. U turn, okay. It's over anyway. We sex up those and we spam Ice Shard. Toys ban at Brave Bird, man. I played it too, man. It's fun. It's fun. You can click it. And you know, I'm a nice guy. If I get the opportunity, if I get the opportunity, we will do this. If I, if I can win with the feature mon, of course I'm gonna do it. Of course we're gonna do it, man. Goodbye. And now Staraptor dies to rocks. I don't know why it just didn't just forfeit, because those Pokemon were going to die to Ice Shard anyway. And this is why we didn't defog. <laughs> I guess we'll just keep this battle. It saves me time as well. And it was still interesting to see Staraptor 2 with KOing as Zapdos with Brave Bird. It's the, the insanity, man, the insanity. I'm gonna pause the video and we'll be right back. Okay. One second on the timer. Another Zapdos. Crobat. Weavile. The guy running the threats. No ice resist aside from his Weavile. So we are basically in the same boat here. Um. Gastrodon kind of walling everything is not nice. <laughs> not nice indeed. That's a really annoying uh, Chandelure. Uh, that's a really annoying Crobat, man. And uh, stops everything. He's up with the Gastrom. So the only thing I have over him is that I can Toxic Spikes. I don't I don't think this is going to be Earth Power. Since he has a Gliscor that can use Earthquake as well. So we'll just uh, use the Toxic Spikes there. If he does Earthquake or Earth Power on me, that's going to be... <laughs> He's rank 5. 
It's always playing stall, right? The guy. Okay, 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 okay. okay. Well, we got our thing up, so that's pretty nice. Let's um, bring in our gasser down here. I got up my toxic spikes, which is what I wanted. If he wants to get up rocks, we're gonna trade. And oh, I'm setting up rocks. I don't think your earth power toxic, so get off this. And it, if this is defog, which it can definitely be, it'll be annoying. But if it's toxic, it's most likely not defog, and he might he might be committing to a full hazard stack as well. And that's looking like a bulky crowbab. I really need to win this game. I need crowbat gone, so I'm I'm gonna look for those skull burns. Directly into this. Maybe he's gonna wish immediately. Uh, teleport immediately, but still having this in is gonna force something on his team. Okay, time to go for game. Like I wanted, to, I wanted to show the flaw of the team. The only flaw I'm seeing here is this. Me having hazards up. The only thing he can bring in is Skarmory. And we're gonna go for it. That's all we can do. Fifty-eight. One, two, three, four, five hits! If I get three, I win! Okay, I think we win. Because he's, he's not going to be stacking spikes against me, and I have these toxic spikes doing the job for me. So he goes into this. I can definitely see a pursuit or something coming my way. This is this is the biggest threat to my... I'm going to spear. Oh god. He gets the five hits on me, man. That has to be banded though. I assume Chansey comes in first. Goes Gastrod on first, okay. Man, this is too rough. But if he, if he was going to hit me five times, it was doomed anyway. I'm gonna keep my Galade. Uh, I'm gonna keep my ch Chandelure healthy. Why does he go this? He teleport against me? I would get leftovers against you. Life score gone, is that gonna help? Because he's not killing me. He's not killing me. And I got I already got everything poisoned. But it's in, that's looking like an impish. 
that's looking like an impish because I really want to click Psycho Cut here. I really want to click Psycho Cut here on an incoming Probab. I'm going to click Psycho Cut there. I think I'm, I'm just going to risk it there. Well, Gastrodon is fine too. Even if Weavile comes in. It's going to give me a free flamethrower later. So it is Weavile coming in here. Night Slash, is that a thing? Blade versus Weavile. What are my odds of living anything here? Plus one. Night Slash. A good chance living the Night Slash, but Icicle Spear. How many hits? Icicle Spear. He needs three hits to knock me out. And then it's going to be a roll. Then I'd rather go for this. I want to keep Zap those for the, the Crobat, of course. Because I'm going to get a free Flamethrower with my Chandelier. Regardless of what's going to happen here. So I'm going to try to Rocks up. The Skull damage is not going to matter anyway. Oh, I'm, I misclicked. <laughs> I misclicked, but this should be fine. And I still think Gliscor is going to die. I still think Gliscor is going to die. Even if Probat comes in there, because Weevil has one more attack in him. I still think he's going to die if he clicks Brave Bird against me. And I won't die to Brave Bird myself. Oh, he uses Haze, I see. We're just going for a burn then. Because Roost is going to be limited on him. Like I can either crit him or burn him. But Toxic Haze is really annoying man. There's the burn. Like, it was gonna happen eventually, man. It was gonna happen eventually. I was either going to crit him or I was going to burn him. But now I now I literally flamethrower spam. Because the moment I kill this, I win the game.
I don't even need to click Shadow Ball. I need to do as much damage as possible to this guy. But with Flames, like I have more Flames for PP than he has um, Roost PP. Like he cannot stall out my flamethrowers. But I don't want to click Shadow Ball and not to hit KO him. So he decides to make the toxic play. So Crobat is going to die. I have Ice Punch in the back from Galate as well. I'm just going to click All Mind here, and then click Night Slash, and then we go Galate and knock out the... Uh, knock out the Gliscor. So rank 5, not enough for me. Ice Punching here, let him protect, whatever, I'm faster than him anyway. Even if he gets a double protect or a triple protect. Doesn't get the double protect. And the stall player goes down, 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 down. So, it's uh, really generous of him giving me those points. Like quite a bit as well. So, rank 5. Requested me as a friend, whatever. Um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, man. I hope you guys... Chandelure actually doing a lot this game. Like, he was... He also got five hits on my... Um, my Weavile. I got five hits on his Karmary. That was huge, getting those five. Because I, I know if I get... If, if I hit four hits into four hits, I will not come out as well. But at that point, I might as well go for it. At that point, I might as well go for it. Like, we got we got really fortunate getting the five hits there. I still needed to get the three hits afterwards. But that's... That's kind of what I wanted to emphasize. That his team is also really weak to the Choice Bandit Weavile. With the Weavile being able to do that against his team. I, the same goes for a Metronome Mamoswine. Spam, spamming Icicle Spear or Icicle Crash into you. He's not going to like it. And same goes for Weavile. Crobat was definitely annoying. Um, I, I feel like it was a bit of a spit death Crobat as well. But uh, yeah, I just needed to keep flamethrowing him. Even if I didn't get the burn, I was stalling up him out of roosts. And then I would have needed to try to use uh, Zapdos into him. But I had rocks up. Meaning that whenever I click Ice Punch with, 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 uh, with my Gallade, his Crobat is going to come in on rocks and takes the Ice Punch damage too. Uh, which is really nice to get her, of course. And yeah, the Weavile only had one more attack into him because of the rocks. Making a good use out of it. It was annoying that he was Haze on that thing, though. But I guess it makes sense for him to be Haze. Haze, Roost, Toxic, Infiltrator. Because then you, then you can take stuff on, like, Hydreigon, right? Hydreigon, Substitute Hydreigon. You, you can Toxic them behind the sub. You can do the same to Suicune as well. You can do the same to Suicune. But I'm pretty sure the last move was probably going to be uh, Brave Bird. And into Volcarona, that might be nice too. Uh, against the bulky Volcarona. Get the Toxic and then spam Haze against it. But luckily for us, guys. We were able to kill that Skarmory and then win the game. He also won the Speed Tie against my Weavile and got the 5 hits. <laughs> so just keep that in mind, guys. The speed tie and the five hits, because whatever damage I got up on that Weavile would have been really nice for me. Because then I wouldn't have to lose my Gas or Dominant. Him clicking Earth Power in the beginning kind of threw me off. It kind of threw me off. Because um, you rarely see Earth Power or Earthquake on Gastrodon. Like, rarely. I know I, I my Weezing lives it, and I really wanted the Toxic Spikes up against his team. As, as, you, guys, as you guys saw, the Toxic Spikes was really important. But... The reason I wanted Toxic Spikes up as well is I wanted to make sure I had it up uh, before Weavile com comes in. Because just like him, I don't have the best Weavile switch-ins. Like Gastrodon and Weezing have to do it, but if they get 5 hits, I'll just get screwed over. That's why um, 
That's why I wanted the Toxic Spikes up so badly. But most of the Gastrodons are not Earth Power in this game. But uh, yeah, guys. I'm gonna end off this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you did enjoy it, make sure to hit that like button, guys. Subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment down below. Check out this team on Patreon if you are interested in playing something like this or trying out something like this. Join our Discord server if you'd like to discuss this game. I also have a Twitch channel. Haven't streamed in a while, but uh, maybe you guys can convince me on Discord. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next video. Peace out.